another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be taking a look at an Air Jordan 2 collaboration done with Nina Chanel Abney and these are known as the White Malachites. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for all of our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a collaboration done with artist Nina Chanel Abney with the Jordan team on the Air Jordan 2 silhouette. We'll talk about that overview, jump into size, and fit followed by how I style this really cool clean color scheme then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market so let's jump right into it this was released as part of a two-pack so you probably saw this as well in a red colorway on the Air Jordan 2 high version I actually opted out just because I felt like between the two if I were to get one I really was obsessed with the white malachite just because I've already kind of got my Virgil Abloh Jordan 2 which I'm obsessed with. So I really wanted to add something different color scheme wise to my collection. So let's start off with the overview of these starting a little bit, actually, maybe I'll give you some history about uh, Nina Chanel Abney. So she is based in Jersey city. She's a local artist who does artwork on urban uh, pictures. And uh, one of the cool things is she uses these really just cool, bold, abstract figures. And she also released a capsule collection along with the two sneakers that she's worked on. And uh, a little bit about the story behind her just creating and collabing with Air Jordan is that she just likes, or Jordan brand in general, is that she just likes to go and do her own thing. She doesn't like to follow rules or boundaries. So just really cool that she took this conceptualization of kind of keeping the sneaker very clean and simplistic. So starting with the front of the sneaker, you'll notice that we've got just a nice heather gray suede leather on the front and then just a nice smooth white leather behind that. Working our way up, it gives it a very luxurious look. I feel like when you see this smooth white leather, I feel like this is definitely a sneaker I feel like I can really just take to a nice event, specifically where I'm going to dress up just because it gives it a nice classy fill with this nice clean white leather on the front of the upper. That smooth white leather works it way, its way up to the tongue. And then we've got this nice different pattern that's nice and textured on the top here in white. And then we've got the Air Jordan, which is nicely ingrained in there uh, in this nice pop of green or the Malachite colorway, which by the way is a green stone that can actually be polished. And then and it has wax laces and kind of an off-white color scheme. If you're not feeling those laces though, they do have black wax laces as well, which I think could complement and look nice. All right, so let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling. So working our way 
onto the medial side of the sneaker, we've got more of that smooth leather that works its way into this nice, smooth, textured leather. On the back, we do have that smooth leather in that green color scheme for the pull tab. And then that green leather works its way to the back of that heel. One of the coolest parts of the sneaker is this hang tag. It is an actual framed picture. And this is a really cool picture that she has used, used these nice bold abstract figures. Of course, we've got Michael there and uh, it's a really just cool kind of accent. It's quite heavy, I will say. I was trying to walk around in it. It's a little long and drag, so I wouldn't recommend keeping the hang tag on, but I do love that she added a bit of piece of art literally to the sneaker. On the interior, we've got black and green and then the sneaker is completed with an off-white midsole and a light heather gray and green color scheme for the outsole. Talking about the box, Box, which is really cool. Uh, we do have Nina Chanel's name actually in one side in the Jumpman logo and one side of the insole. But moving along to the box, the same exact artwork that is actually on the hang tag, you can actually see on the box itself. This is just a really cool artistic box. I think that Nina Chanel just did a really good job with packaging this. And then we've got just really cool transparent paper here with some uh, Jetman logos and then really just cool, nice red and green colors that we've got going on there. The reason that Nina decided to go with green and red colors are those are predominantly the colors that she does like to use in her art pieces. So I was really excited about the, how this green came out. I think this is a really beautiful green that complements the white and heather gray perfectly. Uh, again, this also came with a capsule collection, which we will get more into the styling section, but all of the pieces really match these colors that she has added to both of the two silhouettes perfectly. Okay, so as far as sizing goes, I am a women's size nine. Again, this was a women's exclusive. So if you do have higher chin feet like myself, I would say stick true size in the women's silhouette. For some reason, my off-white two uh, low was actually a bit snug, but these actually fit me to a T, but those again were also in men's sizing. Uh, if you do have flatter, wider feet, this could actually differentiate a size that completely works opposite from my own. So do take that into consideration before deciding on which size fits you. All right. So now let's talk about styling again. This is just such a clean looking sneaker. I don't really have a lot of sneakers with this color combination. So super happy to add it to my collection, but I really wanted to kind of show you how you really can dress this up. So for the first look, I decided to go with an all green look, a nice ribbed green dress, which I think green hues just all together will complement the sneaker quite nicely. Look, I decided to wear a nice floral bodysuit that had some greens and blues and whites and creams in it. And then I wore some nice satin green pants. I think that satin green just really vibes quite nicely with this, especially for a nice luxurious upscale look. Be in his fine ass shoes. 
time for the last and final look, I had to wear something from the collection. I am obsessed with this hoodie. This is literally probably one of the highest quality hoodies I think I've purchased from Jordan brand. And it has all of these really just cool abstract designs on it. Michael looks so fire on the front and we've got just these really cool bubble branding that you have going on. There's lots of branding on the back of the hood as well, but this is just such a really cool sweatshirt and I feel like I've gotten so many compliments on it already, but it also just matched the sneaker perfectly with some simple black biker shorts. All right, so you let me know down below what was your favorite look at the three or how would you style these? to go and it's time for me to say they won't break me I'm braver than I know it's my doubt creative mountains where the valleys used to be gotta change perspective if I really want to see it sunrise over the water I swim over in London get lost in all the wonder never call it quiz no All right, so now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these are actually going below retail, which was 225. I'm actually shocked because having these in hand, these are so beautiful. And off of all the twos I've seen released this year, I think that this is gonna definitely go in my top five spot for my Jordan twos as a selection, just because this is clean, it's simple, it goes with everything. This is definitely gonna be a sneaker you can wear all year round, specifically in the green colorway. Again, I wasn't as much of a fan of the red but I'm pretty obsessed with this and they're going to 260 on the higher end for larger sizes uh, but this is just a really cool sense of art and I think that that is what Nina is trying to do is really show that you can wear pieces of art whether it's on your clothes or your sneakers you can wear it while you're walking around in your day-to-day -day lifestyle all right everyone thank you so much for tuning in if you joined us for the first time thank you hit that subscribe on your way out give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store this is shay tv my name is marissa hill we'll catch you all next episode